Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain most commonly asked question in DevOps interview. In this video, I'm going to explain three questions. So those are very important questions. And in the same way, I will upload different, different videos with different, different questions, which you can practice going forward in this playlist. So now our first question will be uh, the. So now our first question is like how your AWS, how does your AWS infrastructure looks like? Or this question can be asked asked in different ways by the interviewer, interviewers. Like they may ask you like what what all services you have worked on in AWS, or what what services does your organization uses in AWS? So these are a few different forms uh, they can ask. So the best way to answer this question is like AWS data architecture because uh, that will that will help you to remember all the important services that are getting used in aws by any company as you can see here pick and for your reference i have given one url also so let's go to the uh, url and let's see how it looks like so this is a pictorial diagram of aws theta architecture and in this uh, in this link itself everything is explained very clearly so that you can go through and you can practice it so if we come to three tier architecture, so in three tier architecture, we have different services of AWS. As we can see here, we are using VPC, subnets, bash and security group, private subnet, EC2 instances, auto scaling group, load balancers. And if you come down here, database is also there. Zones are availability, zones are also there. So once you will practice this three tier architecture, you will be having good grip on the uh, services of AWS. So three tier architecture is basically it will be having three, three layer, three layers. First will be like presentation layer. Second will be the app layer and third will be the database layer. So presentation layer uh, will take a request from the users, which will send uh, that to uh, app layer where the logic will be there. Uh, so based on that logic, the response will be uh, giving to that user from the database. So this, this is how AWS three architecture three tier architecture works and along with this you can also add few other services like cloudwatch you can tell that cloud cloudwatch we use to monitor the servers and health of the server and uh, your infrastructure s3 bucket you can tell that you are using it to keep your logs and all big big logs and uh, with the help of aws lambda you are putting the logs from your infrastructure to s3 bucket so these all things you can practice there are lots of videos present in youtube which you can connect and you can practice well so that you will be having good grip off on the services of aws so this is what the first question was which is mostly getting asked by the interviewers now we will go to the second question so the second question is from cell script the question is like how we can collect CPU, memory, and disk usage report from multiple server. So here what we are doing is like we are collecting report from multiple servers. Basically, we are checking health of the servers. So normally interviewer will ask you like uh, what all cell script you have written or maybe they will ask how do you maintain your servers or how do you check health of your server uh, or have you written any cell script or how are you taking a report from your all the servers whether they are working properly or not so in all, for all these questions you can answer this whether the question is for a, a single server or for multiple server so here you can see like we are using host name which is taking the host name of the server then date time and in at this point of time we are collecting cpu so uh, this this command will give you the uh, cpu report and from there we are filtering the numerical value for that server and after that we are checking memory usage and then disk usage after doing that we are printing all those things in this usage report and for after and once you you will start getting a report for one server then you can put for loop and you can apply that to all servers so this is how we are getting report of a server whether it is working or not and or how much cpu it is using or how much memory it is using so this is also one very much important question that normally interviewers ask. So let's go to our third question. Let's see what is there in that third question. Yeah. So the third question is from Docker. So in Docker, mostly interviewer ask 
commands only because docker will, will be having lots of commands which is related to image container and how it works or how it runs so few very much important command from the docker is like the first command is like display only stopped or exited container so the command for that will be docker ps hyphen a hyphen f status equal to exited so here we are putting hyphen f flag that is that means that filtering we are filtering only status equal to exited command now uh, status equal to exited so you will put this flag then it will give you exited command uh exited docker containers okay now then we are going to display only the container id so by using docker ps hyphen a q you can display only container ids of the container so these all commands i am simply telling you you can just install docker and you can practice all these commands so that you will be having good grip that th third command is like you have to show all the running you have to stop all the running container at a time so how can you do that so by using this command you can stop all the running container at a time okay and the fifth command is like uh, how can you delete all the exited container at a time not single container so to delete all the exited container at a time we can use this command docker ps hyphen a hyphen q hyphen f status equal to exited pi xr docker rm so this will delete all the exited container now the sixth command is like to list all the docker images and delete it so here what we are doing we are listing all the images and deleting at, at a time okay so docker image hyphen a hyphen q pi xr docker rmi this command will be used to delete all the images at a time list and delete it if it is not in use so these are the uh, important commands from docker so going forward i am going to create one playlist in which i will be explaining important important questions that will that mostly interviewers ask so guys you can subscribe my channel and you can follow my videos so that you will get all the important questions and you can prepare well for your interview thank you so much guys for watching this video